Hey, what's going on guys? I know you guys have been wondering where I am in the comment section below. First episode of uh, Skyrim Special Edition Vampire Lord. In this episode of Road to Creature Up, I'm going to be showing you where I've been at, where my mind's been at recently, and why I haven't been posting content that much. I always thought to myself, if I create my own version of the creature up, then I can finally relax. My favorite song of all time. I always thought to myself, if I create my own version of the creature hub, then I can finally relax and be happy. But what I didn't realize is that it's actually the other way around. It's reversed, dude. It's like uh, you be happy first, and then by being happy, I know this sounds like some hippie shit, but it's almost like when you're happy, it seems to attract success to you. I noticed that for myself as well, where those rare times where I'm like super happy, like a 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10, I, I feel like shit starts happening in my life and I, and like, you know, like just, you, you attract more of what you feel. So if you feel happy, you attract more stuff that makes you happy. If you're miserable and depressed, good luck trying to be successful, man. So I realized like that's the mindset a lot of people have. It's like, oh, let me be successful. Let me just suck it up. If you have to suck anything up in the first place, you're doing it wrong. So I realized you got to be happy first. So uh, that's why I've been focusing on the first layer of that pyramid for Road to Creature Up is fucking happiness, dude. Trying to get that happiness going. Film this guy. Look at this. Dude, it's like 8.30 in the morning. I don't understand why. I don't understand why it's so fucking loud at 8.30 in the morning, dude. Like, come on, man. Give me a fucking break. Of all the times in the world that you have to pick up garbage. Yeah, so also, like, if I'm happier, it that shows through the videos more, right? There's certain things you just can't fake with videos. I'm sure you guys have seen the video just doesn't seem right. It might be a time where I was just didn't feel like recording or didn't feel like streaming. Just didn't go, didn't show through well with the videos. So, I think being happy, if I can consistently be, you know, not every day, but if I can consistently be pretty happy, eight, nine, or 10 out of 10, you know, that'll show through, you know? Fuck me, come on, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, uh. That's right, fuck off, dude. Get the hell out of here. Fucking A. Who has a fucking pink garbage truck, dude? It's for cancer awareness. It's a good idea. I don't know why they would put cancer awareness on a fucking garbage truck, but anyways. Here are some things I'm doing in my life right now to improve my happiness from a 6 out of 7, 6 to a 7 out of 10, to like a 8 or 9 out of 10, or maybe even a 10 out of 10. Quitting porn and masturbation, dude, is one of the best things you can do for your overall levels of happiness and motivation. I know it sounds weird. You guys have probably not heard of NoFap. Maybe you've heard of NoFap before. I'm just gonna link to a video up here or down in the description below to a, the most kick-ass video that's gonna explain everything for you because I don't really wanna cover that in today's video. I just wanna go through what I'm working on. But yeah, I highly recommend you guys check that shit out. It's uh, it, it shows everything of like how porn and masturbation like just ruins your life and your brain and all that shit. So uh, I'll definitely link that up. Over the course of five days between day 45 and day 50, something fucking snapped for me. Something snapped. It was like evolving from a boring ass metapod into a Butterfree. And the best part, I felt like Butterfree ever since. It took me six and a half years to realize that mindset is literally everything. If you have any doubts consciously or even subconsciously without realizing it, that actually takes you a step back. And I just recently started getting into like psychology and how all that shit, you don't even realize it's happening. That's what's so bad, like, that's what makes it so uh, complicated, like so difficult to overcome because you don't even realize it. But you have like these, even if you think you're good and you're like confident in yourself. If you had those subconscious doubts, man, from like when you were a child or some shit, 
you know, your parents told you you suck when you were six years old and it fucks you up mentally. Like, you gotta get over that shit. So uh, I'm doing some things to kind of work on that, different like strategies, different treatments, to just get rid of all that shit, all that emotional stuff, all those beliefs that kind of like get in your way, that don't really serve you. I'm getting rid, I'm restructuring my whole mindset. All of my negative beliefs, I'm, I'm restructuring them with positive ones. So that like everything in my mindset is going straight to the fucking creature hub, dude. So just getting my mindset right is literally probably 80% of the battle. So I'm gonna be working on that. There are a few therapies that I'm considering taking. There's uh, cognitive behavioral therapy, neuro-linguistic programming, neuro-associative conditioning. They're all different shit. Um, I might explain them in further detail in another episode. They're pretty cool ways of teaching you how to like get in the best mindset possible and just get overcome your mentality. So once I know what the hell I'm doing with that, mentally, uh, the next step is to focus on brand strategy and content creation in general. Having like an overall brand and feeling of the content, because right now it's just a fucking diarrhea post of content. It's random as hell. One day I'm posting a vlog, next thing you know it's a Skyrim video, next thing you know it's a fucking World of Warcraft live stream, next thing you know it's like some other bullshit road to creature up. I think I found some new content. Wow. What's up boys, it's your boy Wolf back with another Roblox video. So just getting like a, an overall idea so you know, oh Wolfbound posted a video, it's gonna be this 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 and this friends having fun whatever maybe I'll post do I want to make like one channel and have different playlists for different types of content do I want to have different channels well that we're gonna figure that out after the whole mindset thing so that's something I'm working on too having like a format that people that makes me unique that nobody else has done before but people actually enjoy watching but it's also relevant to what I want to create instead of I don't want to just be good at something that I don't really, you know, want to do and it's videos I fucking hate making but it works, you know, like I don't want to do that. I want to make it something I love to, to make but also people enjoy watching it and it's unique. So we'll, we'll look into that, maybe I'll work on my creativity, do like some kind of creativity exercise and have like two hours on a Sunday or some shit on that phase where I will literally just think about shit, like meditate, go on a fucking mountain or some shit meditate for like two hours and just like think about what I what kind of videos I can make I don't know we'll figure that out as we go along as the episodes progress you know we'll get we'll get there we'll figure it out so personality is what comes next dude once we figure out the brand content those that like it's actually going making progress you see the videos growing just by itself without me like promoting it or anything like that, that's when I know that I'm on the right track to like actually making videos that work. So the next step after that phase is done is going to be the personality improvement phase or like, uh, you know, working on my charisma, my overall personality. So not being fake, not being somebody else, but being myself, but being the best version of myself. Being 100% comfortable in front of the camera, you know, shit like smiling in front of the camera, whatever. Or like just just being just being a hundred percent authentic version of myself without fear of like just without shit like holding me back. Just being a hundred percent the funniest version of myself, maybe doing like a I do believe you can train yourself to be more funny. Not necessarily in a fake way, but in a way look at this guy, film this guy again. Fucking yeah. Woo! <laughs> Fucking crazy. This is the shit I gotta deal with every time. Isn't it great? So, being, you know, a funnier version of myself, I might do like an improv, join like an improv comedy class once a week or twice a week, just to li really work out my funny muscle in my brain or some shit. I know there's like a workout you can do to be more funny. Maybe surround myself with comedians, get build relationships with comedians and stuff, get that nailed down be funny in the videos 
and that will obviously make the videos a lot better. So we got the content, all that, the brand is good, I'm funny as fuck at that point. Then we move on to the next step of the pyramid kind of thing I'm going to. So the second last step of this reverse pyramid or pyramid progress shit chart is quality and gear. So like, I'm funny as fuck, the videos are great quality, you know, maybe at that point we got the team, that's probably another thing I'll have to include. I'll probably modify this as we go along, maybe add a step, whatever here and there. But uh, you know, all the, the, sol the content solid to maximize on that. We'll probably be doing this along the way as well, but at that phase we'll really max out on like quality content, uh, like getting the best kind of gear, the best equipment, all those camera DSLRs, different lenses for different shit, really trying to learn different skills. So like filming, like literally be like uh, Casey Neistat, have his knowledge, but do it in my own way. Or like uh, that other guy, what the hell is his name? Brandon, I forgot his name. But he's also a pretty cool like film guy, vlogger. They're both very boring in my opinion, but because they have such cool cinematography, their videos look sick and people want to watch that. So I want to combine that with being funny and entertaining with friends and stuff like that. So I'll have like really cool transitional shots that aren't just like to fill up the gaps, but actually enhance the video and stuff. So doing filmmaking techniques, working on editing, like being a master editor before I can, you know, before I end up hiring an editor myself, I would want to be like the best so I know what to expect from other, like other people once I hire them. Getting the best gear, best camera, best microphones um, for the specific shit we need, lighting, all that stuff. Getting that nailed down so we can get the best quality video possible. I think that's like the, the next process there. And then the final step, that last little bit on that pyramid is gonna be marketing. Before I thought you could just blast your shit in front of, you know, you get shut out by PewDiePie or some shit, you're bound to make it, right? Wrong, dude. I realized that, cause I tried it myself. I, I put ads, I don't know if you guys have known, this one of the Skyrim videos I had, like the first episode, has like 4,000 views, you can check it out. I might, I might actually add it because I deleted it from the channel playlist. I might add it just so you can check it out in the description or something. Um, it's, uh, or it might link to the annotation here. It's uh, like literally the first video has like 4,000 views because I promoted it with YouTube ads and shit. And uh, even though it was in a playlist, the second video got like 200. Each video, like no matter what, if I posted it, it would get like 15, 16 views. So that's how you know, like, if the content is shit, and you might think it's the best content ever, but if it's shit, the way to know if it's shit is if people watch it or not, period. It doesn't matter how much effort you put into it, it doesn't matter how high quality it is, if people don't want to watch it, it's shit. That's bottom line. So people didn't want to watch it, it doesn't matter how many fucking times you blast it in front of people's faces, it's just not gonna, it's just not gonna stick. So. Having content that works first, and then once everything else is maxed out, we blast it. That's this is one step nobody nobody else has done. I don't I don't know any other YouTubers that actually do this, and I think this will set me apart from everyone else. Is just marketing. Like actually, I know I have a pretty good background in marketing already, but really maxing out on that, studying the shit out of that at this point, really like maybe even hiring like a social media manager and just blasting. Sh adds up like crazy blowing us up and uh, and that will be the final step once we've hit that we will officially be at creature up status so in conclusion this is kind of a like a pyramid scheme kind of thing where the bottom layer is like step one step two there's about six steps since my goal as I mentioned in episode two is to get kind of started by 2020 and what I mean is like you can see like the growth starting to happen and you can see like okay these guys are gonna these guys are starting to blow up now that's where I want to be at by 2020 um, with the group and everything the creature of and stuff how I get there might change along the way but this is the overall skeleton kind of structure I want to go through 
to get there, so I've broken it up. I got 18 months left. I want to break it up into three month uh, chunks. So 18 months divided by six steps is three months each step. So happiness will be like step one, three months, step two, another three months. So, uh, you know, like happiness, I'll be getting there to, I'll be getting to like, hopefully getting to like a nine out of 10 or eight out of 10 at least by October, for example, another three months from now. And then after that, it's gonna be mindset for another three months. Then I'm gonna break those into small chunks. So like, week one will be like, getting over my um, fear of talking to people or whatever in public. So like, you know, maybe I wanna do videos where I like interview people. You know, getting over that fear, of being confident that. Week two will be like, uh, I don't know, getting over that shit in my head that makes me feel like life goes by so quickly like trying to re reprogram that whatever so each week i'll have a new thing i'm gonna try and um, post every week a crow to creature up i know i'm very inconsistent with what i say i'm gonna do knowing myself but i'm gonna try my best and, and try to post like a road to creature up every week from now on just the editing i just think it's a really cool idea and i i really do want to do it i hate the editing and shit that i have to do but you know i really like I really feel good once I actually get the Road to Creature Up episodes out. So I'm, I'm really hope, planning on doing this every week or every two weeks. Just to update you guys with what I'm working on on that particular week. And uh, you know, just getting that done. So I hope you guys enjoy my journey on the Road to Creature Hub. I, it's not really the Creature Hub. Go back to episode one if you haven't seen that already and you think I'm trying to copy them check that shit out but I hope you guys enjoy my journey to the road to creature hub and as always I will see you guys in the next video peace dude <laughs>